know what I am. Yeah. I know what I am. I am a sneakerhead. Standing on y'all, they know I'm a head. Yeezys and Nikes, it's all I wear. Copping and rocking, no reseller. Sneakerhead, sneakerhead, sneakerhead. Yeah, I know. Cracking YouTube is me, your host Tune, aka your favorite sneaker here. Once again, bring up a sneaker pickup slash sneaker review. Before we get started, I need you to do me a favor: like, subscribe, share, follow my TikTok, my Instagram, and my sneaker Instagram, which is in the description below. Click the notification bell so every time I post new content, you will be notified. As you can tell by my holiday sweater, I'm very festive right now. It is the day after Christmas. Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, all that good stuff. Happy holidays. Period. December 26th. It is. Hope um, Santa Claus bought you everything that you wanted and didn't leave you a lump of coal in your stocking. But um, hope you was able to um, be with your loved ones and all that good stuff like that. I was actually supposed to be in Alaska this week. But with the whole pandemic thing going on right now, I was I had to cancel my trip. But it's even better. I'm going to San Francisco and um, going to hit some, some foot lockers out there too. So... Be on the lookout for my vlog. I'm going to do a San Francisco vlog, so that will be coming soon, probably Thursday or something like that. But anyway, um, just came back from Nike, got my good luck charm with me, and I told y'all a couple videos ago, whenever she's with me, I always come up on the shoe. Like, it's nothing better than walking into a Nike store, a Foot Locker, a Champs, uh, any shoe store, and buying something for retail. You remember those good old days where you could just walk into a store and you could just get it? Because we don't like resellers. Not around here. We don't like resellers. If I have to buy a shoe resell, which I am buying a shoe resell later on today, I will, but I prefer to either get a discount or get it for retail. And I was able to walk into Nike and get uh, another pickup for retail. I think you're like, what are you like, five and oh? Like, I lost count. I think it's six. Six? I, think so. I mean, six and oh. We out here like MJ in the finals going six and oh, baby. Anyway, all right. So, uh, boom, like these boxes. I like that what they've been doing. Like, they've been doing these special boxes for the different Jordan 1s and stuff like that and Jordan 4s. Um, you can actually show that right there. If you see, like, these are my little special boxes right there. You see that? Like, the lightness came in the yellow and gray. And, you know, they, they, they've been doing a lot of different special boxes. So, I like that. Usually, I put um, my shoes in the, the clear container um, boxes. But, like, when it comes to stuff like this, I keep the box for myself. Anyway. Um, got this like two tone. This is like a, uh, I want to say a lawn green, and this is like a plum. I want to say like a plumish color, but this is like a, a pinkish orange right there. As you can see, you got the the N and the I filled in, and then you got the traces of the K and the E right there. Um, yeah, the rest of the box is like a like a brownish color. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, like we, oh, I said plum, like a plum. Plum brown, something like that. Anyway, it reads Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG. Um, the color is black. Uh, what did I say? Orchid? No, what did I say? I, I, I forgot already. Hold up. I cannot pronounce this color. It was... Um, and that was like, Archeo. Archeo. Okay, Archeo. So, um, black. Yes, I Googled the word so I can get the word. I mean, the word pronounced right. We got um, black Archeo brown. Um, suggested retail price is 170 size eight and a half. So you know what that mean. Personal pair, no reseller here. All right, cool. Get this out of the way. And boom, we got the Air Jordan 1 High Handcraft. Uh, Air Jordan 1 High OG Handcraft. Let me move these out the way so you can actually see the shoe. Boom, boom, straight from Nike. I love, you just, you gotta love, you gotta love a shoe for retail. You just gotta love it, like, whatever, like that. So, we got some information off of Sneaker Bar Detroit. Shout out to Sneaker Bar Detroit. It reads, dressed in black, archaeo brown, and dark chocolate color schemes, this Air Jordan 1 comes constructed in a mix of material and colors, detail with two-tone laces and 3M reflecting detail. So, it is 3M in this. So that's dope. I can already tell you around this area right there, the 3M with the flash, everything like that. Um, a white midsole, a type of black rubber, also completes the design. Um, they didn't really say the materials. I was hoping that it came up with like a little bit more information. That was like two lines. But I'm guessing this is like, this is straight leather. I know this is leather. White leather on the toe box. Um, I want to say this is suede. I always get suede and new buck mess, messed up. 
Let me see. Hold up, real quick. Let me just go to somebody, another website. Let's see. All right, this is um sneakerfiles.com. Shout out to sneakerfiles.com. I want to give y'all as much information as possible. It says, all right, the Air Jordan 1 comes dressed in the black, archaeo brown, and dark chocolate color schemes combination. Although the image is a mock-up, is an accurate representation of what's releasing, utilizing the white leather on the base, while a mixture of brown lands on the eye stay, ankle overlays, and outer, I mean outer lays, the Black Wings logo. Next, we have a metallic teal around the heel. Oh, around, this is the heel right here. Metallic teal? Hmm. Okay, this is the heel, metallic, I guess. Hmm. Metallic teal. Um, dark green wraps the toe. I see no dark green on the toe. Like this is dark green wraps the toe. What is this? And purple adorns the forefoot overlays. Huh. I don't see any dark green on the toe. You see dark green though? No dark green at all. I'm, I'm just trying to give y'all some good information. This is just, this is weird. Like, let's try one more website. Um, justfreshkicks.com. Never been to this website before. Shout out to justfreshkicks.com. Um, set to feature a black, archaeo brown, and dark chocolate color scheme. All of them say that. Um, image surgery, but thanks to a great mock up, we can take a look at what you can expect from the redemption based on the colorway. Listen to just a black base or archaeo brown overlays throughout the shoe. You can also expect a white rubber midsole and black outsole. All right, anyway, doesn't need man. Okay. So I'm guessing it's like a suede type material. I don't really think this is new, but I could be wrong. If I am wrong, just leave a comment below. I like this material right there. I don't even know what this is. A Nike swoosh is kind of nice too. Like, see, that's why I really wanted to give them more information because whatever. Um, almost like a patchwork right there on the wings. It says Air Jordan right there. Um, got the black plush tongue right there. This is like a pinkish orange type color right there on the Nike Air right there. Um, green overlays right there on the side eyelids right there on both sides. Um, this is like a brown, like I said, this is like a chocolate brown color going around the toe box right there. Um, black sole, white mid sole, white leather side panels. Um, beautiful shoe does come with extra laces, some white ones and some black ones. So is this black or it's weird because they come with black laces already in it. This is a white, and this is black. This 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 might be a dark chocolate, but I think this is black. This this look, right. This looks about black, right? Black, black, black. So, all right. So what we usually do is, um, what we usually do is whoever's holding the camera or whatever like that, we do like a, a one to ten rating. That's what we we've been doing. So one to ten, what you get is. Damn. Colors. Eight nine. Yeah. Woo. Eight nine. That's high. I like it. I like the shoe. Okay. It's just, the only thing I throws them off is the multi-color in there because you know me, I'm more of a yeah, black, solid, like a, yeah, solid yeah. color. So but I like the shoe overall. So yeah. Yeah, but so you give it a nine because you like the colors and the material is nice. But you like solid colors. Yeah. That's why I'm you kind of contradict that's yourself why a little I'm bit. Giving it a high rating because normally I wouldn't take this. Oh, route. so you you like it because it's making you like something that you normally don't like. Correct. I like that. Not still high. Woo! That's a that's a high. I would stick more to an eight, but no. Okay, okay. So we we gonna go eight point five for you then. <laughs> eight point five since you don't know if it's a nine or eight. We go eight point five. I'm gonna give it a seven. I like a seven because it's a Jordan one. I like multi-color stuff. But I'm going to give it a 7 because I'm more of a flashy person, as you can tell from my sweater and everything else, you know. So these are dark colors. So I can't go at 8 because if this was art, I don't know where it is, and I'm not going to take the time to pull it out. The 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 Air Jordan 1 prototypes. I like that. It remind, Matter of fact, we're going to pull that out real quick because it should be just in a regular... We're not gonna pull it out. We're not. We're not, we're not gonna pull it out. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna pull out a picture on my phone. Y'all know what it is. I'm gonna show you the prototypes. This remind me of the Air Jordan One prototypes, multiple color. But the thing I like about the prototypes is they're colorful. So okay. 
So these are the handcrafts and put an image up. Okay, so these are the prototypes. That's the prototype. Y'all should already know what the prototype is. So it gives me those feeling, it gives me those vibes, but those are brighter colors, blue, orange. So I would definitely give these an eight. I would give these a seven. All in all, it's a good shoe. It was for retail, so you can't beat that. Another thing about these prototypes that we don't like, I mean, that I like about it is, there's, there's little trace marks right here where you can cut them into low tops. Yeah, I see like he goes he go a picture of it too. Mm -hmm. So like so if you want to you can cut them and they be low top. I wanted to buy two pairs of these because I wanted to have one low top, one high top, but they didn't go down. If they go down in price, I'll probably get another pair. Anyway, I just got off topic. Um let me know what y'all think about the Edge of the One High OG. Um what's wrong? Oh, oh uh, Edge of the One High OG handcraft. Um like subscribe share. Follow my TikTok, my mains. Instagram and my sneaker Instagram was in the description below. Click the notification bell so every time I post new content, you will be notified. And as always, from me, host Tune, aka your favorite sneaker here, representing Tune's Kicks and the whole Tune Squad. You know what to do. Have a nice day.